Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with TheHealthyHaven.net and AlkalizeWithAndrea.com and I guess we'll call this a love room video, although technically I'm not in my love room because my love room is an absolute disaster area. And I mean it's so messy that I'm, I'm going to have to clean in the crew to help, to help a girl out. I tend to get really messy when I've got a lot on my plate and a lot to do and I've been working a lot. so. It's, yeah, it's accumulated. Without further ado, good use of a old spaghetti jar there. I would like to tell you what today's video is about. And it's funny, I wasn't going to do a video on this, but it's still going on today from yesterday. It's been going on for about a year now. Uh, and I just, I just really don't want to sit on it any longer. And I shared this last night on my Facebook wall right before I went to bed. And I woke with well over 320 comments and there was at least 100, um, I'm sorry, 100 comments and at least 300 and, and some likes. And I just was like, wow, people are really throwing the love here. And I'm going to read to you, actually, good old cell phone, uh, what I shared so you can, uh, you can just hear it yourself. Maybe I should have had it pulled up. That would have been good. Uh, I posted, those of you that don't know, there's my account. I'm on under Andrea Lee, L-E-I-G-H, Cox. And posted a poem today. It's pretty. I wrote it. I, I write poetry when I'm pissed off or whatever, or happy or sad or whatever. Uh, but here's the post. I posted a pretty little selfie of me yesterday that I took. And I wrote, Dear Woman, Dear Woman who spent her entire day on my YouTube account criticizing me. I'm sorry. I know that's not what you are expecting to hear, but it's how I feel. I feel sad that I began getting your alerts this morning and that you left, that you felt the need to carry on all through the day and into the night. I feel sad that you wasted so much energy on one person, on me. I feel bad and a bit confused at why you would dedicate so much time to a person that you feel is fat, ugly, a reject, untalented, stupid, plastic, gross, with six S's. I didn't know that gross was a word. Then again, I cannot spell. That was another thing she put that I cannot spell in her comments. I think what makes me feel the saddest of all is that one, just one of those character flaws you pointed out about me actually hurt my feelings. I'll admit, you got to me when you said, I don't deserve to live. That hurt my heart. For a moment, my eyes filled up with tears because I believe everyone, I believe everyone has a purpose here on earth. Both you and I are here for a very specific purpose. The sad truth is that I'm living my purpose and you are hating me because you've buried yours. I still love you and I want you to drink your green juice. <laughs> Obviously that last line I wrote was a little bit of a smart ass comment. But here's the thing folks, this woman started at around 2 a.m. and then I posted this before I went to bed, I don't know, it must have been at like 8.30. Um, I was super tired yesterday, still am today. and. I shared it on my social media and she continued 
and she has continued all through the day today and all through the night tonight. And like I said, I have a pretty good idea of who it is and I know it's the same person because look, you get to know your following on every social media. I've got a following on Instagram, one on Facebook, one on Google Plus, one on YouTube, I'm on Tumblr, you know, I I get it. I'm actually trying not to go on anything else because it, it gets overwhelming. But my YouTube fans have been probably almost as supportive as my Facebook fans. You know, occasionally you'll get the, the guy that's like, oh my God, you're so hot boobs or whatever. Or like I, you know, you'll get a woman that's upset that, you know, her husband liked one of your pictures on Facebook, one of those, or you'll get someone that doesn't agree with you, which is fine. I leave those comments up. It doesn't bother me. But for the most part, they're all positive and encouraging. And the comments I got from sharing what that woman is doing still today have been some of the most beautiful comments I have ever read on social media, period. And such a wonderful gift you just gave to her and to us. Thanks, Andrea. You have a beautiful heart, and for me, you are an inspiration. Well handled, and that's the best response you can give, since it comes from a place of love. Thank you, Andrea. I love you, and I watch you on YouTube with my daughter. This one I can't even read because I started crying. Um, literally when I read it. Keep sharing every day. This woman is sick, they said, um, about the woman that wrote it. That's from a former client that's amazing. Uh, there's so many. I uh, So much love for you towards someone who hates themselves so much that they need to project it on another person because their soul is so full of darkness. Andrea, I'm so sorry to hear you had that experience from someone who obviously doesn't think too highly of herself and needs to take it out on you. Sadly, though, it makes me realize that in part, this is a big reason why I hold myself back from putting myself out there like this. This girl's comment was absolutely beautiful. Um, shine on, sister. Sometimes the lights hurt others' eyes, so continue leading with love. For me and all the w women you inspire and help on a daily basis, that was Susan Thomas. She's really sweet. So it goes on and on and on. And I have to say that Patty Robb, all these people that I recognize from all my social media, that it hurts my heart because this woman is still today on my social media and I don't like the fact that someone places so much emphasis on another person. That means they're not doing what they're called to do and what they were put here on this earth to do. And I think probably the worst part about it is, is she probably knows that. And the thing she said to me actually didn't really bother me at all because I know they're not true. And even if they were, I love myself. And I'm always going to love myself. And we all should love ourselves. And it's a really scary thing when someone hates you that much. And it's not scary because you're like scared that they're going to show up at your front door. It's scary in the sense of that you, you do start to wonder how everybody else can like you and support you and love you so much if this one person sees all these terrible things in you. And so I have to remind myself that the opinions of others don't matter. And in fact, they never will. The only people that I care about their opinions are my mom, my sisters, my sister's husbands, my nephew, my close friends, uh, the Manpanion, uh, the Manpanion's family. That's basically it. I really don't concern myself with the opinions of others. So to this woman, I just want to say also, you know, that people behind the camera have a heart 
and they have ears and they have eyes and they can read and I'm sorry that you hate me so much. Uh, I think I know why and whether I'm right and it's over a person, another person, I'm sorry I did nothing wrong and if I'm wrong, which I'm pretty sure I'm right, then you have no right to criticize someone else and I pray for you and I'm going to continue to pray for you that you find your calling in life and get off the computer so much. Andre Cox here folks, whoa 10 minutes and 30 seconds that is a record all-time high this is going to take me like 12 hours to get uploaded. Uh, be well.